The popularity of these Korean BL series started to skyrocket during at the heights of the pandemic way back in 2020 and from then, they quickly grew in numbers after 3 years. In this video, we will be listing down the 12 best Korean BL series that are definitely worth watching for this year. If you also have your suggestions and recommended Korean BL, feel free to share it on the comment section below. Before that, some of these Korean BL series might not be available on your country due to geo-blocked restriction. If that's the case, then you might want to sign up to ExpressVPN so you can unlock these geo-blocked BL dramas while also surfing the web safely and anonymously. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount plus an additional 3 months free of usage if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number 12, Mr. Heart. One of our main leads is filled with back-to-back -back problems with his life but he still finds a reason to smile. Sangha is a member of a school track team and although he loves to run, long distance running isn't his cup of tea. On the other hand, Jinwon who is a record-breaking marathon runner in high school, loves to compete but struggles to maintain his stats. Their coach decides to make Sangha as Jinwon's pacemaker to help him with his problem but Jinwon isn't friendly to his new partner. As the two share their time and moments together, they realize that both of them have developed a romantic feelings for each other. Mr. Hart was one of the few Korean BLs that I first watched during the pandemic and I can say that the pairing was definitely a spot on. Mr. Hart can be watched on Viki, WeTV, and Apple TV. Number 11. Cherry Blossoms After Winter. Who would have thought that your childhood friend would be your future lover? When one of the main leads suddenly becomes an orphan due to the death of his parents, Sohabom was adapted by his mother's friend who also has a young son of the same age named Taesong. Sohabom considers himself as the exact opposite of Taesong not only physically but also socially. He is often bullied by his classmates but Taesong decides to interfere and help Sohabom. During their high school lives, Taesong and Habom become closer not only in their school but also at home. Their closeness will lead them in a situation they did not anticipate to happen. Cute and fluffy are the right terms to describe this series overall. Cherry Blossoms After Winter can be watched on Apple TV, Viki, and WeTV. Number 10, You Make Me Dance. Abandoned at a young age by his mother, Song Xion is in a big debt with a lending firm and struggles to make ends meet. Xion decides to make a last bet and pursue his ambition in contemporary dancing which ends up sharing an apartment with Jin Hong Seok, the debt collector. As Jin Hong Seok watches Xion dances with his graceful moves, his heart begins to beat for him. I always believe that You Make Me Dance is one of the most underrated BL series because of its story and the chemistry of the two main characters. You Make Me Dance can be watched on Viki, WeTV, and iFlix. Number 9. Roommates of Pungduk 304. We have seen quite a lot of stories about Ayers pretending to be a common employee but Ji Ho Joon is definitely something else. Before Ji Ho Joon could do another trouble, his father kicked him out from their house and asked him to lead a new business team for their company. Ji Ho Joon moved to a villa but his first meeting with the owner was so much memorable. Ji Ho Joon also realizes that the owner of the villa turns out to be one of his subordinates in his team. Their cat and dog relationship will certainly put a smile on your faces. Roommates of Pungduk 304 can be watched on Viki and Gargo Lala. Number 8. Unintentional Love Story. When one of our main characters was discharged from the company due to the corruption of his former boss, one young desperately looks for different ways to get his job back. One young decides to track down the chairman's favorite artist and report to him everything about Taejun. When one young becomes closer with Taejun, 
he starts to question his sexuality and whether he still wants to go back to his old life in Seoul. Unfortunately, Taejun learns about that one young has been spying on him for a long time. It's a currently on air Korean BL series and it's already making waves on some social media platforms. Unintentional love story can be watched on IKEA. Number 7, A Shoulder to Cry On. Lee De Yol almost lost his scholarship when Jo Taehyun pulled a prank on him in the nurse's clinic on their school. Due to this incident, Lee De Yol can't focus on his archery trainings and it's not helping him when Taehyun still keeps on bugging him. But when De Yol witnesses how Taehyun's aunt treats him, he couldn't stop thinking about the latter. The two slowly becomes closer and De Yol starts to feel differently with Taehyun. The enemies to lovers theme on this series is huge and I really can't get over with the visuals of the characters. A shoulder to cry on can be watched on Vicky and Gargoo Lala. Number 6. Our Dating Sim. What would you feel when your crush way back in school day suddenly becomes your office mate? A couple of years ago, Lee Wan confessed his feelings for his best friend, Shin Kite, but even before the latter could react, Lee Wan suddenly ran away from him and left no trace. Fast forward to the present, Lee Wan is invited to have an interview in a gaming company but he was dumbfounded when he saw Shin Kite in front of him, as they create a dating simulation game. Will it become their second chance for their love story? It's my current favorite and the amount of chemistry the couple displays is off the chart. Our dating sim can be watched on Vicky and Gargoo Lala. Number 5, Where Your Eyes Linger. Han Taeju is an 18 year old student who has everything in his life but he suddenly becomes insecure when a new female student shows an interest to Kong Guk, his childhood friend and personal bodyguard. His easygoing attitude vanishes whenever he sees Kong Guk with the female student and that makes him realize his feelings for his friend. What would happen to their friendship when Taeju's father suddenly sent him abroad? It's the first one that started it all and helped the industry to become even more mainstream. Where your eyes linger can be watched on Vicky and Wee TV. Number 4. Blooming. During his childhood, Cha C1 was bullied because of his looks and from then, he realized that people with good looks often grow to be popular. On his first year in college, Cha C1 is confident enough that he would be the most popular student on campus but when he saw Da Yoon, his confidence was shaken. Cha C1 looks annoyed whenever he crosses paths with Da Yoon for several times but that will be the start of something new for the both of them. It's another underrated series and with its first anniversary coming soon, I hope that the second season would already be released. Blooming can be watched on IKEA. Number 3, To My Star. As one of the biggest stars in the country, Kong Sojun is currently facing a decline on his career due to an alleged scandal. But despite everything that's happening in his life, he still believes that he's still fortunate enough to meet the young chef named Han Ji Woo. Even though both of them have a lot of differences in their personalities, the two agreed to enter a relationship. Little did they know that their differences would become the hindrance for their own love story. Both seasons of To My Star are great and I think the representation of their love story easily mirrors the real life struggles of couples. To My Star can be watched on Vicky, WeTV, IKEA, and Gagu Lala. Number 2. Semantic Error. During one of their school projects, Chu Sang Wu decides to remove the names of his groupmates when no one helps him to do their project. Due to this incident, 
The plan of Jae Yong to study abroad was put on hold. Jae Yong tries to reach out to Chu Sang Woo but the latter is firmed on his decision to leave their names out. The two start to have a strange connection when both of them are forced to work as a duo for a project. This is certainly the most popular Korean BL series even after a year since it was released thanks to a great story and amazing chemistry of the main characters. Semantic Error can be watched on Viki, Gaga Ulala, and Apple TV. Number 1, Light On Me. Tae Kyung is an 18 year old high school student who also considers himself as a lifelong loner. One day, he decides not to be alone anymore and agrees to his teacher to be part of school's student council. But he discovers that making friends isn't easy for the likes of him. In the student council, Tae Kyung meets three people who will change his perception when it comes to friendship and relationship. The love triangle in this series really made it so much interesting. I still hope that a new season comes out for this series soon. Light on me can be watched on Viki, WeTV, and Cock TV. Aside from these 12 Korean BLs, there's also another upcoming series called The Eighth Sense which will air on the 29th of March with a total of 10 episodes. Which of these Korean BLs are your favorites? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.